we're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. Okay, all right. We're rolling. Hello. We're rolling. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Prophet Dig Radio Show. I'm Chris. Here I got Jeff. I'm on the Prophet Dig Construction Show. Who's that? Oh my goodness. We've changed the name. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. My bad. You know, it's it happens. Yeah, it happens. Cut that take and start over. We don't no, cut anything. I don't think so. Edit it. I don't think so. No. We can edit no, it no, out no, yeah, no. As, as, as long as you visit ProfitDig.com, um, for the most affordable, user-friendly construction, bidding, and job costing solution on the planet. Visit us at YouTube. Just Google Profit Dig. You'll find us on YouTube. You'll find our site. Like our videos. Comment. Give us some suggestions. What do you want to talk about? Um, they've got a pretty good topic on deck here. I'm going to turn it over to you boys. <laughs> so, Jeff Spencer, we were talking about the documentation package uh, towards the end of a project. What does that look like? What do you call it? Who gets it? Well, we uh, we call it as-builts, uh, your as-built drawings, uh, which in turn is you have your construction drawings, which you bid off of and you work off of, but there's field changes, change orders, and other things that happen throughout the project. And so as-built drawing is just as it says, this project is as-built. Uh, so what that is is... <clears throat> When you make changes in the field that is different from what the contract drawings show, then guys in the field note those changes, give measurements, give depths, whatever that may be. They give that information, make notes on their drawings, and then at the end of the project, they bring them in the office and turn them into to myself or John, and then we will transfer those over on a CAD file and present that to the GC we're working for, which in turn, he will submit them to the architect or engineer of record, and they will make changes to their contract drawings, and then they submit those to the owner. That way, down the road, once our warranty is gone and, and no more relevant, they will have documentation. If they have some kind of trouble with the utility or some kind of trouble with this or that, they know exactly where it's located, they, they know how deep it is, they know exactly where to go. That way, if they have to work on something, just say it's a, a water line or sewer line, it's in the asphalt or concrete. Well, that way, the, the area that's disturb, disturbed, you've got a lot less footprint of disturbance because you're not out there digging around trying to find it. You know precisely where it's located. Mm -hmm. And in terms of maybe legal ramifications, you want your as builds to be as accurate as possible. Yes, I would say. Yes, for would accountability say. purposes. Yes. Now, have you ever had a, a general contractor come in after your portion of the work was done, have to make changes? Uh, maybe maybe something was wrong with, with the sewer line, like you mentioned, or maybe there was a change that needed to be made to it. Uh, if they go in and make changes physically on site, is it their responsibility at that point to update the as built or do they come back to you and ask? No, you once to we're done, those? once we're done, we're done. But most of the time, you know, it won't be so much a change. Uh, if the system is working, functioning properly, there won't be a change. If they add something, all they'll do is use our drawings to locate the line that they want to add on to or tie into. And then they can run another leg out somewhere else or, or whatever they need to do. But at that point, they will generate their own set of as -belts for the work they're doing from that point on. And you mentioned a specific... <clears throat> document type you mentioned CAD files is that basically the industry standard AutoCAD well CAD AutoCAD Reddit uh, then you know a lot of people just work strictly off PDFs uh, we, we do we do a little bit of all of them a lot of times we will generate our, if if we don't actually have a CAD file for that particular site we will generate our drawings on manipulate a PDF and send it to the, the engineer and then at that point, he will transfer it over to AutoCAD and, uh, and update his, his uh, in-house drawings. And is it common to do the drawings in-house, or is it common to sub that out to someone with CAD experience? Well, yes and no. I mean, previously, you know, years past, 
most of our stuff was done by hand and then turned in as a hard copy. And then the, the architect or engineer would, would transfer those over. Because if you go back 20 years, you know, it wasn't every contractor out there did not have right. AutoCAD. Sure, sure. And so it was, and, and they did not have Adobe. So, I mean, it was, you know, not easy to manipulate a PDF. Uh, so most of our stuff was back then was done, you know, as a hard copy. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, most everyone has some way of doing it. Now, they may choose to outsource it, uh, but we do all of our stuff in-house. You know, even uh, a lot of our drawings, we will generate ourselves in-house mm -hmm. uh, for this particular, you know, like if we're in a budgeting stage on a, on a project, a lot of times we will draw our best scenario, how we think that we, you know, need to put this line in. And sometimes our drawings will become a hard copy in the, the engineer drawings. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I mean, there's a lot of technology out there, a lot of different avenues you can use. Uh, and most all of your engineers and architects, no matter what kind of platform you're on, they can transfer them and, uh, and make them work with whatever they got. And if you're just starting out and you're a smaller size company, does that hurt your chances at getting a job if you're unable to produce digital copies like in CAD format? Or will most GCs be accepting a hard copy at this point? Or maybe you could use some of their resources? Possible, but it's still up to you to get that information to the GC or to the engineer. So I do know a few contractors out there, smaller contractors that are still doing hard copies. Sure, it's not the best scenario, but they, they still are accepted and they still will transfer the data. But uh, I'm gonna say probably 90% or more, uh, even smaller contractors now have access to, you know, either Adobe, who they can, you know, modify or manipulate, you know, a PDF, mm -hmm. or they have AutoCAD on file. Mm -hmm. and, Unlike you know, Profit Dig, it's a small monthly well, even subscription. Auto, yeah, right. Even AutoCAD 360, I mean, it's, it's a free subscription. Is that, for, is that a viewer? It's a viewer. Yeah. And But through that, you can still pay a, a slight fee to where you can, you know, make notes. and make notes and, mm -hmm, and mark it up. You, you know, you don't necessarily have to redraw the drawing. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, pinpoint locations and give footages and stuff at that point. And then... Just like connecting the dots at that point, you know, the engineer just got to connect a dot from your era, from era to era, you know, from right. what you've given them. Yeah. And what kind of different types of drawings do you find in the as builds? You have like a top level elevation view, like an area grid map, you have the well, individual yes. sections. You know, when you're doing grade work, yes, you have all that uh, on ours. Ours is mostly like on just a flat. Uh, so it's, you know, it still has, you know, has to compress the file when you convert it to PDF because there are some layers in there. Uh, but but most of our stuff, we go ahead and take out the grade work because most of our stuff is utilities. We take out the grade work levels and stuff. We, we, we kind of hide those. At that point, you know, it's a lot easier to, to transfer the data because you're not having to flatten out. Hmm. Great information, Jeff Spencer. Yep. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, follow us. Uh, we appreciate all your support. Thanks for listening. See you next See time. See you guys.